Okay, in this segment we will be looking at the blue probability slice and we will be looking at independent events, basic. Now suppose A and B are independent events and the probability of A is 0.40 and this notation says the probability of not B or the probability of B not happening is 30% or 0.3. And then they want us to calculate two things that involve some symbolism here. And so a little bit of interpretation might be helpful. Okay, there are a number of things going on here. First of all, we have this rule in statistics known as the rule of complements and we will use this lots and lots of times. Basically what it says is the probability of something happening plus the probability of that same thing not happening always adds up to one. Or think of it this way. If the chance of rain today is 30%, then the chance of it not raining must be 70% because uh, it's going to do one or the other. So when you add the two probabilities together, it's got to make 100% or exactly 1 if we express that as a decimal. So back over here in our problem, if we take a look at this, we will notice that the probability of not B is 0.30. So if that's the case then, Let's go over here and notice that if this is 0.30 and uh, we have to have the probability of B then plus the 0.30 is equal to 1, we can simply move the 0.3 to the other side or you can probably see here without doing a lot of algebra that uh, this is going to be 1 minus 0.3 or 0.70. So we will use this again and again, this concept of subtracting uh, something from 1 to get its complement. We will use that again and again. So we need to take a look at that first. Notice that the first question then they ask us here is the probability of A intersect B or read this little upside down horseshoe symbol. I like to just read that in English as and. So we're going to look at the probability of A and B and I think we may have already done that in a previous lesson. Just like the draws with uh, replacement, the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. So probability of A is 0.40. Probability of A then is 0.40 and we just figured above here the probability of B is 0.70. So what we're simply going to do here is then just multiply these two probabilities together. And so 0.4 times 0.7 turns out to be 0 0.28 and so that's going to be one of our first answers we can enter that in Alex and so 0 0.28 the probability of A and B now the next question they ask here is the probability of A or B and so we need to take a look at a little more interpretation a little bit of a formula for that as well and so let's move up here and consider that. There's just a formula, a way to calculate this out. Whenever we're dealing with the probability of A or B, and once again notice they like to use this union symbol to take the place of the word or, we have this, uh, this formula. The instructions tell us that we're going to basically add here. We're going to take the probability of A plus the probability of B and subtract the probability of A and B. Now some students ask, well, why would you do that? You know, why is that the thing to do here? And uh, when I was in college, my instructors would always say, well, that's beyond the scope of the course. My typical response here is to say, well, look, you know, somebody figured this out three or four hundred years ago. They got famous for it. We're not going to. And so just take this formula for granted in more advanced courses. They may teach you why this is. But most of my students will just say, I just want to know how to get the answer. And so let's do that. We're going to add the probability of A plus the probability of B and subtract the probability of A and B. Well, we reasoned out a while ago that the probability of A was 0.40. The probability of B 
was 0.70. And notice then that we've already calculated this probability of A and B. That's what we got back up here. And so we're simply going to subtract that off. We're going to subtract off that 0.28. So what we'll do here is pop back to our Alex calculator, use the uh, calculating functions to do that. We'll have our 0.40 plus our 0.70 and we'll subtract off 0.28. 0.28 and that answer is 0 0.82. Let's put that in to Alex. We'll see that that didn't go where we hoped it would. 0 0.82 and let's check.